In today's tutorial, we will focus on the ultrasound examination of the knee. Hi, my name is Jakub. In today's video, I will guide you through the basic examination protocol of the knee. I will show you where to look for joint fluid and how to identify soft tissue structures around the knee. We will examine the knee from four different views – anterior, medial, lateral and posterior. The examination begins with the anterior view. The examination starts in the suprapatellar area. In the transverse plane we can evaluate four parts of the quadriceps muscle – rectus femoris, vastus medialis, vastus lateralis and vastus intermedius. We can follow these muscles distally until they form a quadriceps tendon and attach to the patella. In the longitudinal view we can assess the suprapatellar recess, which is the proximal part of the knee joint. Here we can scan for joint fluid. The suprapatellar recess is located between the prefemoral and suprapatellar fat pads. In this plane we can also evaluate the quadriceps tendon in its long axis and its attachment to the patella. When we move to the infrapatellar area in the transverse plane we can evaluate the patellar ligament in its short axis. By rotating the probe by 90 degrees, we can assess the patellar ligament in its long axis and its attachment to the patella and tibia. Beneath the patellar ligament, we can visualize Hoffa's fat pad. Next view is the medial view. In the longitudinal plane, we can identify the joint space between the femur and tibia. The triangular structure between these two bones is the medial meniscus. Superficially to the medial meniscus, we can observe a fibrillar structure, which is the medial collateral ligament. We can follow the medial collateral ligament as it attaches to the tibia. Next view is the lateral view. In the longitudinal plane, we can identify lateral collateral ligament, which extends from the lateral condyle of the femur to the head of the fibula. And the last view is the posterior view. In the transverse plane on the medial side, we can evaluate the semi-muscles. The tendon of the semitendinosus lies superficially to the muscle belly of the semimembranosus. A metaphorical comparison for these muscles is a cherry on a cake, where the cherry represents the semitendinosus tendon and the cake represents the semimembranosus muscle. When we follow these structures distally, we reach the area between the gastrocnemius muscle and the tendons of the semimuscles. In this region, we can scan for a Baker's cyst. Moving laterally, we can locate the sciatic nerve dividing into the tibial and peroneal nerves. The peroneal nerve can then be followed distally as it runs towards the fibular head. And that's it. You have learned the basic ultrasound examination of the knee. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and if so, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.